so excited because I finally have my actual cookbook in my hands in real life and it looks so good. I actually think it looks better than I imagined it. And here's the back and here's the front and here's all the inside as well. Woo! So I'm going to be making a recipe for you today. It's not from the book, but it's actually one of the recipes from the bonus pack. So if you buy this book early, you'll also get some bonus recipes as well. And that's what we're going to be making today. A delicious and easy and super healthy black eyed pea gumbo. It's so good. So make sure you get the book early so you can get that recipe and so you can have the awesome book. So let's get started. For the simplified gumbo recipe, we're using these colorful ingredients. Start by topping all of your vegetables, onions, garlic, zucchini, and tomatoes. If you'd like, you can also add celery and green bell pepper. Now the roux. Heat a quarter cup of grapeseed oil in a pot on medium heat. Once warm, add in a quarter cup of flour and reduce the heat to medium low. Stir as it toasts. You'll want it to be golden in color. To make this oil free, skip the roux. To make it gluten free, use chickpea flour. Add the onions and garlic and a pinch of salt. Cook until the onions begin to soften, about three minutes. Then add the tomatoes and cook them until they've softened and released their juices, about five minutes. Add the zucchini, corn, and cooked black eyed peas. Then add water or vegetable broth. If you're adding water like me, then you'll add your veggie bouillon later. Stir everything well and bring it to a boil. Reduce heat to medium low and simmer for about 30 minutes until the zucchini is tender and the gumbo has thickened and reduced. Okay, let's see. So in the book I wrote about a lot of the ingredients, the southern ingredients like black eyed peas, Okay, let me see what I, oh, I opened up to the right page. Let's see. Black eyed peas, which are my favorite bean, are originally from West Africa. And then from there, they made their way to Egypt, the Middle East, and then to Asia, and then finally Europe, and then in the 1700s to the Americas. And I mean, obviously a lot of us know black eyed peas from New Year's Day, because if you eat black eyed peas on New Year's Day, they're supposed to bring you luck for the coming year, but you can eat black eyed peas any day of the week. And this recipe is just mm, a perfect way to do so. But there are lots of other black eyed pea recipes in my book, of course. Stir in the veggie bouillon, and then add salt, black pepper, and red chili flakes, and fresh lemon juice. Serve over brown rice and garnish with fresh parsley and basil. like the perfect texture. Mmm. Delicious. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It's so good and obviously super easy to make. I like it because it's good all year round, but it's super like, I mean, it's summery, right? It's got zucchini and corn in it, um, but it's winter time right now and it makes it feel like it's summer. So I hope you give it a try. And if you do, let me know what you think. And of course, Please pick up a copy of my brand new cookbook, which I am just so proud of. Oh, and if you're watching this video today, um, February 2nd, it's actually the eight year anniversary of my blog, Sweet Potato Soul. So I almost forgot, but that's super exciting. So it's really cool. So it's the anniversary of the blog, 
and the book is out. So thank you guys for your support. I hope you love the book when you order it. And again, make sure you order it early so that you can get the bonus recipes, including this one that I just made because it's super delicious. And if you're new to Sweet Potato Soul, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye.